Say Caleb. Yeah, Andy? You going on break? Yup. Can I join you? I'm going on break too. Sure thing, Randy. This break room smells like feet. Yeah. I know. So how's it going? Okay, I guess. How about you? Same here. How are things between you and Michelle? Fine. We have a date this weekend. I think we both really like each other. Great. I'm glad you and her are doing well. I'm taking it one day at a time. She's my first girlfriend ever, so I'm quite new to this sort of thing. You mean that you've never been on a date until you started dating Michelle? I know it's hard to believe, but yes, I've never had a girlfriend or dated anyone until Michelle. How is that possible? It's pretty embarrassing. But I used to be in the Jehovah's Witnesses religion. My sister Sophia and I were both born in and raised. They have very strict ways when it comes to this sort of thing. You were a JW? Yes. You used to do door knocking? That must have sucked. It sucked hard. And so much more that I'd like to forget. Black. I hate to even think about it all. Anyway. You're not allowed to date anyone unless you're going to marry that person. You're also not allowed to have crushes on anyone, basically. That sounds crazy. That's because it is. I was raised Catholic, although I don't practice it much anymore. I stopped due to the priest scandals. You know what I mean? The Jehovah's Witnesses are no different when it comes to that sort of thing. They've had their own CSA scandals for decades. Really? Yes. My sister was a victim of this sort of thing. She and a few other girls helped put an elder behind bars when he attacked them. That's pretty terrible. And gross. I agree. But it's a big problem in the JWs. Although they repeatedly deny it and claim that it's all lies. They simply sweep it under the rug and play like it doesn't exist. That's messed up. Why do they do that? It's all about protecting a phony, squeaky clean, wholesome, holier than thou image that they have as a front. They like to play like that they are the only true Christian organization in the world and all others are false. The way I see it is this. No religion is true if they condone this sort of thing and care more only about image rather than their own children. Plus, to tell people that they can't date unless they are going to get married to each other. That's not only crazy, but totally insane. I don't mean to offend you, but it sounds like a cult. Agreed. And no offense taken. It's definitely a cult. I'm completely out of it now. How are you doing now? I'm doing pretty good. The major thing I need to deal with is my parents. Your parents? My parents have been shunning me and my sister. My father is an alcoholic and my mother is on so many antidepressants she thinks she's Jennifer Lawrence half the time. Really? Well, I'm kidding about the Jennifer Lawrence stuff, but yeah, she's shunning us. She also has been in and out of the local hospital's psych ward several times. It really hurts me that they are doing this. My father became an alcoholic when he was appointed as an elder. He used to be a very loving, kind man, but the boozing made him a tyrant. My mom goes through so much fatigue, stress and mood swings as a result of these things. That's too bad man. No parents should ever shun their own kids. I know, but I can't change that. I can only change myself and my beliefs, alongside my attitude. I've learned in this healing process that we can't change others, but we can change ourselves. See Caleb? You're learning already. You'll make it to where you want to be. If you keep that positive attitude you'll be just fine. Thanks man. Well, break time is over. Back to making more burgers. Nice talking to you Caleb. Same here Randy, let's do it again soon. Oh wait. How did the hamburger introduce his wife at the party? I don't know, how? Meet Patty. Doe. Get it? <laughs> Hello ma'am. Welcome to Burger Universe. How may I help you? <laughs>